Hello um, and welcome to this presentation about Northgate Sick Form. Um, this is the same as the presentation that we gave on Open Day. It's just so that um, prospective students can see who weren't able to attend my talks on the Open Day um, so that they can understand what our offer is. Uh, my name's John Alexander. I'm Head of Sick Form here at Northgate and hopefully you'll find the presentation both informative and will answer any questions that you have. Um, so who are we? Well, Northgate Sixth Form is a sixth form of about 500 students, 250 in year 12, 250 in year 13. And what makes us stand out is the fact that over 50% of our students haven't attended high school at Northgate. So it wouldn't be that, you know, if you came to us from another high school, that it would just be you and 499 other students. No, in actual fact, it is a real melting pot and a fresh start. And we take in from over 30 different um, high schools and feeder schools from beyond Suffolk. Um, why choose us? Well, first of all, obviously, I'm going to say that we get good results, but we do. This year, we are particularly proud of the fact that we got six students into Oxford and Cambridge and four students into medical schools. And for a state school, that's quite an achievement. But that's only part of the story, because in actual fact, it's not just about the students who get into Oxford and Cambridge. It's about the students who achieve to maximise their potential, because one key thing is that we treat students like individuals and it's really important that you understand that straight away um why choose northgate well for a start we have excellent sporting facilities we have northgate sports center and as part of northgate sports center we have a free gym access now it is a really good gym fully fitted gym and um, students use it regularly so that they work out their minds as well as their bodies um you've also got the running track and uh things like you know kind of the gym that 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 they work in and it is important that we provide these extracurricular activities for students we also have easy access so i've got a car park on there because actually students can use the car park and the whole point i suppose is that, that they can park there when they learn how to drive when they pass their tests and they don't have to try and park somewhere on the street they've got somewhere where they can park that is easily accessible we have great facilities. We have a dark room. We have a drama studio. We have a dance studio. But also the advantages of being attached to a school are that we have things like specialist science labs and specialist DT rooms that students can use. And that is a real asset when they come to study. We also have a dedicated sick form centre. Now, this sick form centre is open between 8 in the morning and 5.30 in the evening. So it's not like school where, you know, kind of you come in at 8.45 and then you leave at the end of lessons. We truly believe that we give it that college atmosphere by students feeling comfortable to come in at 8 o'clock, have a cup of coffee, maybe a croissant, and sit and work or chat with their friends. And then after school, they might go and use some of the extensive study facilities we have around the block. What it also means is that for students who may find transport difficult their parents often bring them in at eight o'clock on their way to work in Ipswich and then they pick them up on their way back after work which obviously is a, a real bonus. Ofsted who visited us relatively recently said this about the sick form and the most important things to me about that phrasing is the, the fact that they recognize that we treat students like individuals we don't treat students like kind of you know grades grades to be we treat them like individuals and we understand them and then we can put the relevant support in place but also another key thing is the fact we are a community and i think that may differentiate us from other bigger places in the fact that if you come to Northgate, you are part of our community, you are known and that, you know, kind of we like to involve you in all of the things that we offer. And that is really, really important to me and a key thing. Um, we also have our ambassador scheme. Now, we believe heavily in the idea that we give our students leadership and the ambassador scheme is whereby students will help out at events, they'll volunteer, they help younger students, they'll go out to their previous schools and talk about Northgate and what they've learned from it. And what's great about it is that it, you see students who three months before wouldn't have had the confidence to do this, actually then going and speaking to individuals and helping them. And that's part of the journey that our Northgate students go on. 
We offer a wide range of subjects, 32 different subjects. Now, we, we ask that students start on three subjects. The reason for this is that um, we feel that they're best placed to concentrate on three subjects and get the highest grades they can possible. Also, um, when they choose those subjects, we will advise appropriately. And not only that, if a student realises that perhaps they should have chosen another subject in September, we will allow them to change the subject because it's all about getting the right people on the right courses. And that, that's very important. Um, we have our Aspire programme. And our Aspire programme is a programme that runs for students to give them the skills that they will need when they leave Northgate. So things like writing a CV, writing a personal statement, interview technique, um, debating skills, all of which will be lifelong skills that what they will learn. And it's really, really important that they do so and that they understand these kind of things. And that's part of our ethos is its preparation for the next step. And they will do things like we have external people coming in. So from the RAF, looking at team building activities, and that's part of our offer in terms of enrichment, which I will talk about in a moment. Enrichment is the idea that I am very keen on students doing something beyond the classroom. Because actually, one, I suppose if you're cynical, it adds to the CV, it adds to applications, whether it be for an apprenticeship, job or university. But also, what it also does is it makes them a more rounded individual. Now, it's not that we'll say one lesson a week, you must do enrichment. We leave it to the students to choose something that perhaps they already do, perhaps they've always wanted to do, or, or something that will help them in with future aspirations, whether it be something like helping out with students in year seven or below, okay, because that is something that they get to give back and they, they feel this sense of responsibility and leadership, which is something we aim for, or whether it be something like the Young Enterprise Scheme, which I think you'll hear more about from some of our students, where they talk, of, where they run their own business and it gives them experience of that world, or whether it be something like Crochet Club, where on a Wednesday lunchtime, they all gather, they do a bit of crocheting and have a chat and it becomes this very mindful, um, very kind of relaxed thing that, that, that helps them with their well-being, which we are very keen on ensuring that, that we, we take care of. It might be sports. And as you can see, we offer a huge variety of sports. We're very successful football, netball, swimming. Um, we've had basketball team in the past. And the, the key thing is if a student has a particular thing that they want to run, something that they're particularly keen on, then they come and see me and we attempt to run it as much as we possibly can. For example, we're going to have a Warhammer club this this year that was um, suggested by a student. And actually, I'm really looking forward to that if I can understand what Warhammer actually is. But that's the key thing about we expect students to do some form of enrichment. Um, we run extracurricular activities. We've got the ambassador scheme there, as I mentioned, but then we have sports day. So our sports day, for example, is more related to um, having fun. So we'll have a sack race. We'll have it like a primary school sports day. And that for the students is um, something that they really enjoy. And it, it creates this, this, as I said, sense of community. We also run informative sessions outside of lessons. So we will do self-defense. We do first aid so that th that gives the students skills. We look at British Sign Language to ensure that students learn that as a skill and, and not just a skill, but also something that hopefully leads to a more kind of inclusive society. We also run a lot of charity events. So we, you know, we, we mark um, Breast Cancer Awareness Day, World Mental Health Day. We um, run a food bank at Christmas and beyond because we realise that food banks aren't just for Christmas, they're for longer term. And we raise money for charities across the board, which is, you know, a really great thing to do. And the students are so fantastic at doing it well. It's amazing. Um, we also work alongside the Ipswich Town Foundation. Now, we have students who are very good at football, who want to continue playing football, who want to train, who want to uh, play in matches. And we're very proud to partner with Ipswich Town in terms of offering, offering them the opportunity to do A-levels alongside that. Now, there is more information available on our website regarding this and also on the Ipswich Town Foundation website under post-16 um, post learning scheme. But we're very proud to partner with them in terms of that. We also run trips. So on the left there is our geography trip to Iceland. And on the right is the uh, history and German trip to Berlin, something that I wish 
I could be asked on, but I'm still waiting. But we run trips which are, you know, part of the learning experience, not just kind of residential trips, but we run day trips, dance, drama, run some very good kind of trips to, to enhance the students' learning. Now, one thing you need to ask yourself is not just, you know, kind of how will it be if everything goes well, because lots of people like me are going to tell you how wonderful places are when things go well. What you need to be asking about is what support is in place when things don't go quite so well. And we offer extensive support. As I said, the beauty of us being big but not too big is that we're like a stepping stone between school and the next step. In actual fact, the pastoral support is extensive. We have tutors, we have heads of year or ass assistant heads of sick form, as we call them. We have uh, student support officers who monitor attendance and kind of help with study skills. We also have learning support, a learning support worker in the sick form who, if you're entitled to things like extra time or access arrangement to your previous school, we look at ensuring that you still get those even at a sick form level. So there is a huge amount of support there. And as part of that, the government gives the school or gives sick forms money to administer what's called a bursary scheme. Now, the bursary scheme is available to households where their income is below a certain level. And if you are eligible for that, it's really useful because it can help with things like travel costs. It can help with getting a laptop, things like trips and things like, you know, visits to universities or employers. And it's really important that kind of if you are entitled to that, you get access to that. Alongside that, if you were entitled to free school meals at your high school or your previous school, you will be entitled to free school meals with us in Cafe 6, which is the sick form only catering. And again, it's worth remembering these kind of things wherever you choose to apply to. We believe heavily in student voice, so we have a student union, we have a student executive, and they can tell me things that kind of, you know, a middle-aged bloke wouldn't notice, and actually they play a very full part of the sixth form community, and we have form reps, and they kind of like feedback. So it isn't just about this kind of almost like one-way relationship between teachers and students that may previously have existed. At sixth form, it is more about clear, fluid communication. Um, the settling in feedback from students, as you can see, and you're going to hear from some students in a minute, is positive, but then we hope it would be. We do a settling in survey at the start of year 12 to ensure that students have settled in okay, to ease the transition and to look at ways that we can improve. And, you know, just talk to our students and you will see how they feel about the place and how well, wherever they have come from, okay, they settle in. Um, so, I, can't, I mean, that's kind of me. I think my main advice to you is, yeah, the three things I always say to applicants are, choose something you enjoy, choose something you're good at, and find a place where you feel comfortable. And I think they are the three most important things. And I hope that you find all three of those things at Northgate. If you do have any questions or you, or you want to come and have a look around or a tour or something like that, please get in contact. And we'll do our best to arrange it or answer your questions. And um, as you can see, our prospectus is available. Our um, applications are open. We interview all students, which sounds terrifying, but actually it's not. What it's more about is a getting to know you chat. It's not like one an interview where you bring your predicted grades, we look at them, we say, right, that's fine, off you go. In actual fact, it's more getting to know you and you getting to know us because that's the kind of relationship that we want to have with you. Our um, applications close on the 31st of January, but my advice would be try and get your applications done by Christmas and apply to as many places as you think you might be interested in. You don't have to make a decision till you get your GCSE results in August. Apart from that, thank you very much for listening and watching and uh, good luck with your applications. If you have any questions, we're always, always available. Take care. All right, so um, we've got together a few students that um, were on the stage in the main on open evening just to have a chat about their experiences because obviously it's one thing me saying what Northgate's going to be like but actually these are the most important people um, that we have on site so I thought it'd be quite good if they could kind of give us some, some comments or answers. If you could just introduce yourself please and just say your first name and then kind of what school you're at before. So I'm Ralph, initially I was at East Burkle High School uh, and one of the main reasons why I came here was because 
facilities and how open it was. The community here is really strong and the specialised facilities, especially the dark room, makes it far better than any of the colleges around here. Uh, I'm Mary. I came from Ipswich School and I chose Northgate because I knew quite a few friends come in here and also my sister came here so I knew it was a good environment but also they offered subjects that my previous school didn't offer so I chose to do business here which wasn't an option at my old school. I'm Kate, I went to Stanway in Colchester and I came here because of the post-16 programme. Not many schools offer the opportunity to play at a high level and do higher education so it's easy. Uh, I'm Katie. I came here because I wanted to take law, which my previous school did not offer. Oh, I went to the bridge. Um, and <laughs> um, I just wanted a bit more freedom because um, you didn't really get that where I was before. And to be able to make you know my own clubs because we've started a magazine. Um, so yeah, just to be able to have a bit more freedom. Brilliant, thank you. Um, I'm Rihanna. I went to Ipswich Academy and I came to Northgate because um, I knew friends who were going here as well, and I had heard that it was very welcoming, and um, they gave you a lot of support. And yeah. um, I'm Raisha. I went to Colchester County High School for girls, and I came here because my old school didn't provide DT, which I really wanted to do. So I came here, and I really enjoy it. I'm Oscar, and I came from Ormiston Endeavour Academy, and I came to Northgate because of the personalised teaching. The sort of class sizes are sort of less than twenty for a lot of my subjects, or all my subjects, and I thought that provided me a lot more support from the teachers and um, from my levels. Brilliant. Um, extracurricular stuff, I think that's really, really important for, for you as, as young people as you move on to the next step. Um, so I, I, you two were on the Young Enterprise team. Could you talk a little bit about what you did? I mean, was it fun? Was it enjoyable? Did you make money from it? You know, what, what was Young Enterprise like? So, so my role within Young Enterprise was the managing director. So I was sort of all the operations of the, the company, um, and we we established ourselves as of a mental health um, promoting company from the start. Um, um, yeah, so I was company secretary. So I was like involved with a lot of the admin stuff, um, made sure that things ran smoothly. Um, yeah, so we basically went to the area finals where we came second place and then we went on to regionals um, where Oscar and I um, were able to present our product to the audience and it was a really good experience. And do you think it's going to help you in the future doing stuff like that? Yeah, definitely. Um, currently I'm going down the route of getting an apprenticeship, so um, speaking to employers and going through my assessment centres, employers are very impressed by having that skill because not a lot of schools um, offer the programme. So it's good that Northgate actually offer the programme um, and it makes you stand out as a candidate. Brilliant. I mean, and, and it's not just kind of like young enterprise schemes and things like that. Ralph, you, you, we are in the process of setting up a, a Warhammer club um, and that was something we talked about yeah. this time last year. I'm going to East Burkholt tonight, actually. So it was exactly this time last year. You know, how did you go about starting that club, starting that society here? Well, the dream of it kind of started in my high school with the fact that um, we previously had like a, a tabletop kind of club, but it was really dying. And when I came into it, one of my big uh, things I wanted to do was improve it and make it kind of like school wide instead of just the upper years. And that same kind of like template uh, has moved into like sixth form. So I'm working with uh, other students and going to potentially do like a short survey with the years mm -hmm. sevens and up at uh, about the high school. Um, and then we're maybe gonna like orient this one into more what they want mm -hmm. and also facilitating uh, what the higher years want so that we have like one big sturdy uh, Warhammer club mm -hmm. that like pay, plays, paints, and socialises. And I think that's important as well, that, that as we're part of a, a wider school, it's important that, you know, we recognise that and we do, I mean, you didn't you go and do assemblies for every year group from year seven upwards to do with your young enterprise scheme because that was part of being this community and that's why I like the idea that you're going to kind of, you know, roll it out to younger years as well. I mean, yeah, Katie, you've worked on the Sick Form magazine, which we've got issue out already and as I said that's like record breaking. Um, 
how did you go about organising it? Because actually this was almost completely student driven, isn't it? Yeah, well, on the first day of year 12, I think you mentioned a magazine and I was like, oh, I'd like to join that. Wasn't actually aware that there wasn't really one, but then I went to you and asked about it and it was quite easy actually. We just set a meeting and then we had maybe 12 people show up. I know there's gonna be more joining today, but um, yeah, and we wanted a copy for open evening, so. <laughs> To make deadlines working to journalism. Yeah, yeah, lots of deadlines. But um, six days it was six um, days. that we got it together. But yeah, it was quite simple. We just assigned roles and people were really eager to join in. And I think that's part of being here is this idea that people are willing to do stuff. Do you know what I mean? Not all the time, because mm -hmm. obviously it's important to have your social time as well and do your work, etc. But actually there was a real goodwill behind lots and lots of different things which really yeah important. people were, they really were really on it you yeah know? everyone moved really quickly and yeah it was really impressive actually. and it was brilliant to work okay i mean Eric, the, the rugby when's our first match in the rugby um our first match is on the 4th of november yeah. so we got that in pretty short notice and we also secured another match on the 26th as well mm -hmm. and we're in the process of getting another match as well so and that all came from students wanting a rugby team. Yeah. We had a rugby team for ages and didn't realise that we, we had enough players to be the rugby team. Yeah. And you know, as soon as I sent the email through, you were like, yes, I want to play rugby, you yeah. know, kind of things like that. And that, I think, is... But do you feel like that's that's something that you wanted to do and you hadn't even thought about doing? Or Yeah, so, like, it was something that we were, as, like, a group, we were talking about starting it, but then we realised that if we actually wanted to, we could have. We mm -hmm. just needed to voice it to a teacher and there was there was facilities for it. And there's also people, there's teachers that were passionate about it as well. So we just realised, you know, we should have just done it. We started, we should have started it earlier, if anything, yeah. but it's but, gone well. But you live and learn and hopefully yeah. you'll follow up the very successful boys football team and girls netball team yeah. and the girls football team Kate so you're part of the Ipswich Town Foundation program so the 16 to 19 program um, and you're also I would say you're, you're the captain aren't you of the girls yeah. football team captain of the girls football team that won 12-1 wasn't it the other <laughs> week so do you want to talk a little bit about what being part of that foundation that that program is yeah I mean so in the southeast generally there's not a lot of opportunities especially for women to play football at high especially college levels but just generally anyway um and me and a lot of girls i knew that wanted to do their a levels and we were leaving secondary school and looking at the programs and there weren't a lot of opportunities especially because i live in colchester my local colleges only offered five a side or like a really poor standard of football which i wanted better mm -hmm. um and the post 16 lets me have both which is really nice and i felt like when you leave secondary you kind of you don't want to have to make a decision of two things you really enjoy and it's because you're so young and it's like choosing one or the other is so early such a commitment so it was really nice to pursue both um and northgate's a really good school for helping me do both because obviously i have to miss a lot of lessons for it and I, my teachers support me and the training is accessible yeah. and i think you have to be quite organized and quite driven to do yeah. it but you have been which mm -hmm. is kind of like really amazing um rihanna you Left high school, yeah. you went to a bigger sick form and then you decided to come here a couple of weeks into term. How is here different to A, your high school and B, the, the sick form college that you were at before? Well, it's definitely uh, different from high school because, you know, you get a lot more freedom and you don't have to dwell on subjects you don't really want to do. Um, I think that uh, high school is already like high school from sixth form was already like a really big jump, and um, I felt like I wasn't getting the support maybe that I needed, and so I talked to a few friends about it, and they recommended me Northgate because they said you know it was the teachers were really helpful and helped them settle in a lot easier, and since I've been at Northgate, it's been it's proven to be like that. 